What's going on everybody? CJC presents Wanda Workouts and Anime. I do apologize. Uh, so starting off with a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, yesterday working all day, so you know I couldn't get to the reacting to this video and posting gameplay of it. Um, so we will go through it quickly, obviously. Uh, respectfully, I really don't care what they have to say, to be honest. I just want to see the gameplay. Respectfully, of course, right? Um, also, thank you guys for 300 subs, by the way. Hello. I think we're at 320 as of recording this. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Um, I hope to go garner your continued support um, as we continue to cover this game, other games, uh, One Piece specifically, and sometimes workout content, right? Because I am workouts and anime. That's what Wanda stands for. So, again, thank you for 300. Um, we're going to go through this. Again, we're going to go through each character here. Um, I believe, thankfully, they go... They have it broken down, which is perfect. Um, and then I guess they have some extra shit. Oh, wait, this is for the special log, too. Cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So there's some stuff at the end here. Alright, so let's let's just get started, then. Who do they, um... Who do they start with? Let's see here. Again, we're going to skip through. I'll be honest, I really don't care what they have to say if I'm just being completely transparent, alright? I don't know what this says. So, I guess this is just talking about Rayleigh. Alright, again, we can just go through this here. Alright, going through Rayleigh. I don't know who these people are. Alright, let's see it, let's see it. Let's see Rayleigh in action. Alright, just him sprinting. We'll just skip through. Okay, so they have a combo at the top here. Interesting. So I wonder if the technique type, right? Because he is Dark King Rayleigh. Ooh, Conqueror's Hockey. Nice. Ooh, okay. So uh, one of my subs was telling me in one of the videos that I covered that um, Rayleigh does, you know, it doesn't seem like he has a ton of Conqueror's Hockey moves, but he does, thankfully. But I guess the clouds, right? The clouds around them, that's why they call him Silver's Rayleigh, which is what I'm assuming. And then that's the status effect. I mean, thankful with the new skills. Okay, I do like how this looks. He looks very... Okay, we can just get through. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, so he looks very devastating, especially for a technique type. He's like law on crack. I hope we can skip through. Again, if you want to watch the original video, I will leave it. Oh, wait a fucking second. Screw whatever I was about to say. What move is this? So he does a regular Conquerors? No the fuck he doesn't. No the fuck he doesn't. No the fuck he doesn't. This isn't even an ultimate. This is just... This is a one-star move, his Conquerors Hockey? Are you shitting me? What? That's insane! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was sick! Yo, that was sick! And that was a one star move? Are you kidding me? Come on now. Alright, full force burst, okay. We okay, just some dashing. Okay, again, don't really care about these guys. Respectfully, respectfully. Okay. So my only thing is the damage output when it comes to technique types, but, you know, Rayleigh does look very explosive, all things considered. Ooh, nice. Even for a technique type, his, like, um... Was it AOE, I believe? I believe that's the term, AOE. It's very effective. I really do. Ooh, a little tornado action, too. Um, I'm curious. I do want to see the ultimates. Okay. Oh, his taunt is him taking his glasses off. 
and then pulling a drink out. All right, you fucking alcoholic. <laughs> this man's an alcoholic, yeah. As we know. Oh. Ooh, okay. Pretty good range. Pretty good range. Um, I would have loved if it had the range of Phil Merchanks because that fucking Conqueror's Hockey has fucking range, dude. That goes far. So, I mean, I would have liked to have seen uh, a further range for Rayleigh because his one-star move is a Conqueror's Hockey Wave and, uh, I guess, a finger pistol. Pause. But, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a, a larger um, reach when it comes to this move. So, cool stuff. Okay. So, fucking cannonballs come out of nowhere. Two can- I mean, the range looks sick. Alright, let's just be honest. The range is sick. And then just talking about their combos. Okay, we can skip through. Okay, so here we go. We're going to see Monkey D Garp. Will he or will he not have Galaxy Impact? Let's find out, guys. Let's skip through. Let's skip through. Skip through. Go ahead. Keep skipping through here. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. I do want to see some of his uh, hockey stuff. But he does look like he can break guard pretty easily. Okay. Ooh, so he like grabs the enemy. Oh, that's sick actually. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. So he's not even in full force burst. So I guess as the combos go on, the stronger your attacks are going to be. Oh, the cannonballs. Of course they had to fucking incorporate it. There's no way they don't. I wonder how it was like for Garp f fighting Roger, where he's like, all right, dude, hold on. Hold on, Roger, hold on. You got any cannonballs on deck, dude? <laughs> Alright, interesting, interesting. And this game, it's funny enough, this game does confirm that Garp has Conqueror's Hockey, which is interesting. And that's interesting, so his taunt, so unfortunately we can't take his uh, coat off. Um, because his taunt is him just sleeping. So. But it's like, holy shit, what the fuck was that? That's <laughs> that's the clo I think that's the closest thing we get to a galaxy impact. Yeah, they even mentioned it. That's the mini galaxy impact right there. Let me just see this one more time. I mean, it's unfortunate it's not an actual ultimate move, but I think they inc they probably incorporated this last minute. If I'm just being honest, so it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, let's see what else they have to offer. Just him sprinting around. Oh, that close-up with the advanced Conqueror's Hockey now. Man, oh man. He looks incredible. I do like how Garp looks. It's just, Yeah, it's just funny that this game confirms. Oh, shit. Damn! <laughs> wow. Oh shit, excuse the fuck me, that was insane. That was actually insane to watch. Ooh. <laughs> that looked sick. I like how Garp looks, man. I really do. Garp is very impressive. Um, I'm curious, does he have like a... Oh, let's see. What's the ultimate move? Oh, it's like a... Uh, just a punch? Okay. Um, does he have another one? I want to see what the other ultimate is. Because usually the DLC characters have three ultimates. Or I guess three... Like, the... You know what I'm talking about. Right? They at least have three. Um, very rarely they have four. Um, I guess that's it. Okay, oh no. We have some stuff for Garp. Alright, he does have the cannonballs, which is interesting. Uh, I was talking with a subscriber, and he was like, oh, I just hope he doesn't have the cannibals. And funny enough, he does. It, it it fits, though. At least there are more combos that utilize 
the the hockey rather than just the cannonballs because fucking uh, let's just be honest here all right one piece power warriors three garp was a little fucking disappointing one of my favorite characters i do like garp i do like introspective characters like that um Oh, we're gonna go ahead and keep skipping through. Okay, here we go. Roger. Let's see it. Let's fucking see it, dude. Let's see what goal D Roger has to offer as I continue to skip through. Okay. Big Mom's World. Oh. Again, if you want to see the full video, link in the description. Okay, so this is interesting. So. <laughs> That move was kind of like Kamisuri, or uh, Divine Departure, and funny enough, um, Shanks is, I believe it's his third combo string, square, 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 triangle, um, in which he actually does Divine Departure in the combos, because the ultimate move doesn't have a uh, blowback, it just like goes through it, and it does have like a, a Conqueror's Hockey effect, so I, I think it's interesting that this slice has more blowback than the actual ultimate move. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing as Roger, if I'm just being honest. Ro I think in order, Ro Roger, Garp, then Rayleigh. No offense, Rayleigh. Definitely one of my favorite Sensei characters, for sure. Okay, nice. Holy! The range on that was insane. I'd be laughing like that, too, if I was playing that. What the hell? I cannot wait to play. This is just next week, guys. I think I might skip the gym just so I can play this game <laughs> next week. Um, just because I'm teaching. Holy shit, that was insane. See, even the range on that, right? Because he does like a Conqueror's Hockey Wave there. That range is like an ultimate move range. I think has more range than Rayleigh's. So, a bit interesting. A bit interesting. I do wonder if he has a Conqueror's Hockey uh, ultimate. Because it's weird that sometimes they don't give characters that do have conqueror's hockey they don't give them the conqueror's hockey attack right like best example is a uh, hybrid kaido and yamato they both use conqueror's hockey especially advanced and they don't give them um a conqueror's hockey attack so it's, it's, it's interesting because i don't know if garp has one or not um i don't know if they showcased that i don't think they did Oh, his taunt is... Oh, his taunt, you put the hat on and you get an attack boost? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that is sick, man. That is sick. I love that. And yeah, his... Oh, whoa. Yo, that's actually insane. Just a regular attack. The hockey is... Holy fucking shit, dude. No way it has that much range. Are you shitting me? What? Okay, so I feel like this... That ultimate specifically is just for... Boss characters. Oh, wait. Let me see this. Oh, Cocker's Hockey. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's a, yeah, it's interesting. I, I like it. I like it. But I do think the Conqueror's Hockey uh, attack in his combos is more effective than the ultimate move, which is interesting, which is interesting. But yeah, Roger looks sick, man. I'm, I'm genuinely not disappointed here. Roger looks very good. And yeah, you charging his attacks, man. Look at the range, dude! Are you kidding me? Oh, what ultimate does he have? Um, oh, that was sick, actually. That was sick, whatever he just did. Man, oh man, dude. Roger looks insane, bro. And this comes out next week, man. Next Thursday. We are going to be doing a ton of coverage on this. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I wonder what ultimate he could do in midair. Is it uh, Kamisari? 
Oh. <laughs> Dude, Roger looks like he's the best in the game. Come on, now. I feel like I say this with every character, but like this is like for real this time. Okay, so we they do talk about the special log, which is interesting because I don't think they did this last time. I don't. Okay, so this is the Coliseum. Oh, this looks sick, actually. Hold up, so you gotta defeat him in, what, 60 seconds? And there's a story behind it, too. Hello. Although, to be honest, Crocodile kicks my ass every fucking time. Um. Oh, this looks... I like this game mode. I'm a fan of this game mode. And yeah, Crocodile, for some reason, kicks my ass every time. I don't know if it's just, if it's just me. Right, like Ace is pretty easy, respectfully, but when um, he when Crocodile does the move that affects the ground like this one right here, that kicks my ass every fucking time. Okay. Oh, okay. So we do have like a one v one kind of like a boss rush, and then Garp's just watching in the background. So you gotta defeat him in sixty seconds. I'm sure they don't have, like, all the skills equipped. Maybe that's why, but... I like this game mode, man. I really do. This is very interesting. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. So, that looked very different compared to what we initially saw. So... Interesting, interesting, okay. Can we see them win something at least? So what does that do though? Uh, yeah, I'm just confused as to like what the, the, the point total is. Maybe someone could better explain that. Maybe someone is explaining that. Um, yeah, but this is very interesting. So they're just going through the whole special log I'm assuming though. I'm assuming they're just going through the special arc. Yeah? I'd imagine so. I... Alright, look. Here, I genuinely don't know what's happening. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, again, if you want to, if someone wants to explain the special log... Leave it down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, I will see you in the comment section below. Um, again, this is my reaction. I I think in order, Roger, Garp, Rayleigh. That's who I'm going to play. That's the gameplay you're going to see. And then we're going to do the special log next week. That being said, see you in the comment section below. I believe this video is going longer than it should. Peace.